What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another review. And this time, it's on a whole new thing. I'm going to be doing uh, retro reviews here. I uh, got into some of my old Transformers Cybertron figures, and as you can see, we have the whole collection of Transformers Cybertron. So, for those that want to see more figures, please leave it in the comment sections below, and I will uh, abide. Uh, to start off, we have Optimus Prime, the leader, Megatron, the leader. I've got sealed versions of Jetfire, I've got open versions of Jetfire, I've got Crumple Zone, I've got Ransack in a different place. I'm not sure where Ransack is because he's in the smaller category. I've got, um, I actually got, I've got the sealed version of, of Metroplex. I haven't opened him yet. And I've had him for, you know, 10, 15 years. Anyways, we've got all of them. Um, you know, Scourge, uh, Mudflap, uh, Red Alert. Hot shot, you name it, I have it. All right. Anyway, so to get to the review, I'm going to show you. This is him. Uh, this this guy's opened up already. He's already been opened, and um, that well, as you can see, he's kind of beat up here. We'll just take a look, quick look at the packaging here. Transformer Cybertron, robots in disguise, Crumple Zone. That's him in the packaging. This is his planet key which i never really take the planet keys out much but i guess i will for this review i don't know if i've ever taken that one out side of the p package we have a little bit of the bio there we got strength eight intelligence 3.5 he was pretty stupid he was kind of like the comedic in the cartoon got nine speed endurance nine rank four courage nine inspire blast nine and a skill set is seven on the back we have Trusting but dumb, Crumple Zone is often drawn into reserving the muscle to back up the paranoid plotting of his partner, Ransack. Huge and powerful and super fast, Crumple Zone is sometimes surprised by sudden turns. Not that it matters, he's the biggest guy on the speed planet and crashing straight ahead through whatever gets in his way in his specialty. Twin turbine ramjets can propel him at nearly the speed of sound, and selective thrust reversal allows him to fire hypersonic high-explosive slugs nearly 12 miles. Shows a picture of the figure. Uh, really cool figures. All these figures are greatly uh, engineered. Shows a, that's his car mode. That's what happens when these uh, cannons flip forward when you put the key in, and the cannons also work when he's in robot mode shows the cyber planet key and um the way it is in the cartoon is they have a speed planet and there's like a jungle planet and there's uh like a building planet i can't remember what they call it construction planet or, or something or giant planet is what it's called giant planet and then there's earth i believe um he's a skill set of three so they did do skill sets back then they didn't show you how many um they didn't show you how many moves it would take, but if you want to pause it, you can read about the rest of the series. Go to Transformers.com for more information. Looking at the bottom of the box, we have Scourge. See, I have, I'll have. i be doing Optimus Prime, Megatron, Scourge, and Vector Prime. Alright, so without further ado, let's get this guy open and check out how cool he is. Before we get started, I just want to show you uh, how the planet key gimmick works. And this is for the speed planet. Uh, let's see, we get a little light over here. A little bit of silver paint. The speed planet signal. Sigil. It's got a little uh, code on the back. I believe it went to something, maybe something uh, online related. Back in 2005, I wasn't online yet. I didn't get online until 2007. But you just stick the planet key right in here, like so, and then when you stick it in, and it just it, it pulls down the cannons like this, and then we have some super-powered missiles here that fire by hitting the buttons right here. And the, and this thing is a beast, man. I mean, freaking A. The, the, the construction on this thing, I mean, look at the wheels. Look at these wheels. And look at this thing. It rolls like a freaking glider, and it's heavy. This is like the heaviness of a leader class toy nowadays. But yeah, let's just check it out a little bit. Let's get the light over here. Get some clear parts here for the cockpit. Shows a little seat inside. You can kind of see in there. 
And we have dark green with light, kind of like neon green here. We got neon green plastic, neon green paint, dark green plastic right here, and dark green paint up here. They did a pretty good job matching. We have some copperish gold paint here. It's kind of like a mix of copper and gold. We have some gold paint here. Got a Decepticon signal up here. Some gray paint up here. They, this is all gray paint. I mean, nowadays this would just be gray plastic. They painted all of that gray. All these pipes and stuff are gray. All this green is painted. Like, literally the whole thing is painted. The only thing not painted is the plastic here. The plastic here and the plastic here. The rest of the car is painted pretty much. These aren't painted, these are plastic. But, um, yeah, so. He's pulling around like that. But, yeah, he's got a. He's like a three wheeled machine looking at the bottom of him. Really cool figure. So let's take a look at the transformation. Okay, getting down to transformation here. Um,. This figure is pretty easy to transform, so what you want to do to start is you just want to disconnect these. There's a couple little tabs, you can see the tabs there, and they plug into those holes on each side. So you just, all you do is you separate those, just bring them out like that. No big thing. Tear them, turn them upside down, and then these, the fists here, are plugged in on those pegs right here. And the back of the fists, and you just plug it in, oops, you plug it in like this, you know. Like that so you just unplug that and then you bring this out on this hinge right here and then that hinge right there down so we'll show you again on this you bring it out you bring it up like this out a little bit and then you bring it down on this hinge and you just hang them down like this you pull the fists down like so and then this swings down like this clips down in there like this bring up his feet like so. Oops, we're getting lights in the way here. And then what you want to do next is you want to just start folding this down. But before you do that, before you fold the wheel, you're going to fold the wheel into here. But you want to want to move the head out of the way. So you fold that in. Then you fold the wheel all the way down in. Then when you're flipping it up around, you want to push with your finger up through the head right here. So push the head up through. And then all you do is you clip it down in. And you just get it to fit down there, like so. And then, this is Crumple Zone. Right, like so. Just like that. There we go. Get them all situated. You gotta swivel his bicep, swivel there. And then his arm back to get his elbow joints working. But yeah, he's awesome, dude. He's got a cool ass head. Very cartoon accurate. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a. There you go. I, I, I thought I remembered uh, that the jaw moves. Maybe I'm thinking of bulkhead, but. Yeah, the job does move, you see? Job moves. And something tells me. Yeah, you're going to want to put these pegs in those holes right here. There's two pegs. And these go right in there, just like so. And then they'll clip in. There we go. You just wanted to get them pegged in there like that. And then you can bring up his head. And like I showed you, there is a jaw moving feature. I knew there was. So his jaw moves, his head will tilt side to side. It's on a swivel. And, uh, and the jaw's on a hinge. His arms will go up on this hinge, plus he can also go out on this, this joint right here, I believe. Oh, maybe there is a, no, there's a block. So the way you get his arms up is you go out like this. He's got an upper bicep swivel. He's got an elbow joint. Uh, no, he also swivels at the, right below the elbow joint, so he can twist his hands around a little bit. He's got, I believe he's got a waist joint. Yep, he's got a waist joint. You can kick forward, you know, pretty much as far as you want, about up to there, and backward. Plus, he will go out 90. He has a upper thigh or a lower thigh swivel, and his knee will bend 90 degrees. Plus, he has some degree of tilt in his feet. 
just it's from transformation but you can still use it you know to your advantage but this is crumple zone and like I said before you can always put the key in there and then when you hit the you know it shows a little arrow there press up he's got his sh shoulder cannons going up over so this is crumple zone when I do ransack, I'll show you a comparison of the two. One thing you got to remember is you got to pull the key out to lock it back in. These mechanisms don't really lock without the key out. So you're going to want to... And you're going to want to be careful with those mechanisms. I mean, they are just toys. So. But he does have strong ratchet joints. Strong joints. Oh, you'll also swivel here. I'm a nice ratchet. Um, we'll get a nice pose for you before I go to show you he can pose. Just like so. There you go. And that's going to conclude my transformation review. I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, I'll put this aside real quick. We have the, the guide here, the speed planet. And it shows um, a rundown of all the figures and all the... It's just a quick... Um, I'm going to put it in the background. One second. Okay. I'll show you. Basically a rundown of all the Cybertron figures that we'll be showing you. Okay, we have Starscream. I don't have the leader Starscream. He was stolen. Um, but I have all these deluxes. I was only the only thing that was stolen was the leader that not leader, it's giant Starscream, Supreme. But I have Jetfire, we have Vector Prime. Here, sorry. Vector Prime, Jetfire, Scourge, Megatron, Optimus Prime, Dirt Boss. You can see Hotshot, Ransack. Scatter shot. There's the speed twins or the speed, yeah, whatever you call them. There's override, the leader of the speed planet, thundercracker, and red alert. All right, let me know what you think of the review and the figure, and uh, comment in the comment sections below. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the flip with the next Cybertron video.